hello hello so guys so welcome to this youtube channel and uh, in today's video we are going to look how we can uh, reduce data usage or internet bundle usage when using your computer so you might uh, subscribe uh, to a certain bundle plan and uh, you have hotspot yourself using your mobile phone and you find that uh, your computer is consuming a lot of uh, data and uh, you are your 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 budget data budget is very very high so how can we stop uh, our computer from consuming a lot of data so that is a very important thing that uh, one should know so that uh, your budget and uh, you, uh, so that you can stop using a lot of money uh, in buying data internet data so the first thing that you should know is to stop automatic uh, windows uh, updates so how do we stop automatic window updates so let's begin so go to settings or click start and then go to settings here so and then locate update and security update and security so mine is still loading so uh, as for me mine is up is up to date but uh you'll find that uh, most of the time you can uh, your, 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 your computer might be automatically updating itself and it's consuming your internet bundles or internet data so you could to stop this you can post the update for seven days yeah you can post the update for seven days by just clicking here or alternatively you can uh, choose the date that you want the next update to be so uh, so let's go to advanced option so and then we have here post updates so we can post up our updates so this year will give us until uh, november 14th and at the time of making this video so it's not just for seven days but this option can give us additional days so that uh, we can uh, expect our next next update so we can select uh november 14 so that is the day that our next update will be so when me when using my uh, computer because i've post uh, windows automatic automatic updates my, the, my, my pc will not be consuming my internet bundle so the other way to stop uh, automatic uh, windows updates is by let's click start and then type services services and then okay let us open it okay so scroll downwards just scroll downwards scroll downwards downwards until you see windows updates windows updates so double click and then change start up type change this to disable and then after changing it to disable and then click stop click stop and then apl click apply and then okay so in those two steps what we have done is uh, we have stopped automatic windows updates most of the time automatic windows updates is what consumes your internet data bundles and you find that your budget is very very high because the, your pc will be automatically updating itself so by doing those steps you have minimized or you have restricted your computer to automatically update itself until a certain date the other way is to restrict or to stop background data background apps from running how do we do that so click on start then click on setting let me maximize this one and then let's search for privacy and then let's scroll down here until we see background apps background apps so these are the apps that i have here for mine in my case i've uh, turned off all the background apps let me open so in your case you'll find that these are some of the background apps that are running and they're receiving information or they're receiving message and automatically updating themselves so we can restrict that by just clicking and turning them off so we turn our background background apps off so for instance i have netflix i can turn it off i have uh, tiktok i can turn it off so these background apps i can restrict them from using my internet bundles by just turning them off so if you want to turn them off all of them you just go up here and uh, let's run in the background and turn them off all of them so as you can see all of them have been turned off so they cannot consume my internet data 
So that is how we increase uh, or we minimize uh, our computer from consuming a lot of a lot of our internet data. So we will find ourselves uh, spending less on buying internet data because uh, we have worked around our settings of our computer so thank you guys for being with me this till the end of this video so if you found this video very very useful please click the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more contents adios